Okay, so Mass, take it away, please. All right, so the first thing we wanted to show, I don't know if we showed this last time, I don't think we did, but in Operator Hub IO, uh, you can see Kiali is up there now. So we do have a Kiali operator up on Operator Hub for OLM to install for people. Um, as for the Kiali UI, a few things to show. Um, First is the new show and graph feature. So if you look at your list of services, and I'll show workloads and applications in a minute. Uh, if you click something, say ratings, we now have this show on graph. Click that. We can now, you see the little flash there, kind of shows you what you were looking at, and you can see it brought you to the service graph because we were in the service list. I go to the workloads list, and I pick something, say product page V1. I go to the product page details, show on graph, and it takes me to the graph, and it shows me, it's actually focused on that uh, node, and it gives me a little flash there. And again, I'm in the workload graph. And finally, an application, same deal. If I look at details, application, show on graph, there's the details flash, shows me where that node was, and it's in the app graph, because I was looking at application. Um, Notice that I have green edges here, so I, I have traffic. We have a new uh, keyword up here. If I want to look at traffic, I can highlight all the traffic, no, all the edges that have traffic, and conversely, I can hide them. See that. Same thing with the other ones. Um, but I'm going to show you the hide traffic. The last minute I should have. Well, of course. There we go. Uh, if I say no traffic, it's going to highlight edges that don't have any traffic. And the same thing with the hide. No traffic, it'll hide those. But I, I think that's just letting people see where the edges have traffic and which don't. Um, uh, the filter. So now we have the ability to filter our namespaces that we can view through a label selector in our config. Right now, we can see the book info namespace. But and I'm going to show you my. If I edit this namespace, and I change the namespaces label. Right now I have a label selector on MAS. So any namespace that has a label MAS, you can see in Kiali. Well, I'm gonna remove that label. So there's no MAS label on book info anymore. So this should go away. We should not see book info anymore. And you can see it goes away. If I were to go back to graph, I should get an error here. Request the needs book is not accessible anymore. And you can see it's not in the list anymore. But if I go back and I put that label back, so now I'm going to add a MAS label to the namespace book info. I should see it come back again. And you just see it came back. So. I'm going to reload, and now you can see I got my namespace again. That just shows the label selector feature. This is going to be useful when we have um, integration with uh, Maestro's multi-tenancy features. That's where this is going to be helpful. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to show, most of the sprint was like bug fixes, and I'm going to show you one here, where if I go to YAML for this virtual service, and if I were to say delete, it used to be it would just say delete book info. It, you, it wouldn't confirm that it was a virtual service. So right now we're actually telling you what type it is. That's just to make you a little more confident that you're deleting the book info you think you're deleting. So it's just saying you want to delete virtual service book info. That's an example of one of the bug fixes we did this test sprint. Uh, that's it.
before you stop, could you show the select in graph again in slow motion? The selecting or oh, showing graph. Oh, could showing graph. It was... Okay. The first thing I did. Okay. So if you look at your list, applications or workloads or services, and you go into a detail, say I want I want to look at product pages, the product page application, its details. So I'm looking at the details page here, but now it has a link here that says show on graph. If I click this, it's going to take me to the graph page and it's going to highlight this node on it so you can see where it is on the graph. See how it's highlighted there? No, I'm looking at I'm not looking at data here, so that wasn't a very good example. Uh, let me try workloads now. I'll do ratings work ratings v1 workload. I'm looking at the details here, and I want to say, where is this on the graph? So I'll click Show on Graph. And you see the little circle there, the little flash. Hopefully you can see that. Um, just to show you, this is the node you were looking at. And because I was looking at a workload, I was looking at Ratings V1 workload, notice it changed. It, gave, it took me to the workload graph. It didn't take me to an app or a service or a version app graph. It took me to the workload graph. And it's the same thing with these other ones. With services, it's the same thing. So let's look at the reviews service show on graph. This is the details for that service. And there you can see it. This is the service graph now, because I was looking at services, and here it's showing me where it is. Now, of course, I could change my graph type and all, because now I'm just in the graph page. But at least that gives you a linkage between the details page and the graph page. Did that help? Yes, it's a bit hard to get. This is why slow mo was good. I think we need to enhance it optically a bit with the highlighting to with some yellow background or something like this. Mm. But very cool. Thank you, Mass. Okay, that's it. Okay, Xavier, you're next. Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Let me share my screen. So, this one. Okay, can you I see can the Ali console here? Yes. Great. <clears throat> so, um, as you, as some of you may know, that um, Ali is working on validations, and so meaning that the like, Ali. Uh, looks through the, all the configurations, items, or Istio configs, and, and tries to analyze it and says what is wrong and, and what is working. So <clears throat> we introduced uh, a new validations working in, um, in a service level. So here we can, say, we can see that we have uh, one service that uh, is complaining because has two errors. We see here that both errors are on port level, right? It, it says something here wrong, so wrong HTTP, and we see what happened, okay? So what I've done here is uh, check through the deployment in the service, and we've detected that uh, <clears throat> in the YAML, we had a wrong uh, specification of the port, and also the port, the service port, and the deployment port are not matching. So we have those two validations, right? So continuing with validations, um, we we are we added and we have here the Istio config, as some of you know, that here we can we can list all the all the all the Istio objects. So let's start like that. So here we what we can see. It's like a, we have a warning for the destination rule, and let's say what happened. Okay, we have a warning, but also it says here that uh, because I'm working with um, mesh white MTLS, um, Kiali is warning me that I should use MTLS here, probably. And uh, in this spring, we added this uh, this new validation, which is an uh, like an informative validation, because um, those validations are not working cross namespace, right? 
since uh, we don't know if we have visibility to the old namespaces, we are not sure that we are, uh, we are, we are accurate doing this validation. So for example, here we see um, the user put a host, a reviews from another namespace, which is the default namespace that we, we, don't, we don't check at, at the default namespace if there's a service called reviews. So what we, what we say here is that we are uh, unable to verify this because the cross namespace validation is not supported for that field, right? So this we can say that in, if the service it was at the same uh, namespace, we could do the validation, but since it's pointing to another uh, namespace, we can't. <clears throat> um, more validations. Uh, we have validations at the service role binding. So for our back system, for the ECR back system, we are we are validating some uh, some things like okay, you are binding one role that doesn't exist. So for example, if I put it properly, now I see that um, uh, it's working. Same thing, for example, for uh, the service role. Uh, we can check if the rating is, uh, is listed or not. So here, what we, what we see that there's a, a typo here, and instead of writings, is a ratings, right? So uh, we check that uh, the, um, the service, the target service exists here. So we are helping again to the to those who want to enable airbag systems. Um, uh, we help them to to make it sure and not broke your your service mesh. And and again, um, yep, that, that's more or, more or less it. Um, besides that, we were we were also covering some bugs. We were so covering some uh, pattern fly for migrations and working on new wizards that probably next screen we will tell you about and that's it from my side thank you xavier are there questions there were some comments in the chat about um, um the wording of some of these things and uh, um and trying to better differentiate if, if we can look into it or not but i think uh, we made pretty good progress this looks very good. So thanks everyone involved. And if there are no questions, um, I'll stop the recording and uh...